Welcome to the demonstration of the COVID-19 contact tracing prototype application. This web-based prototype application has been designed and developed on Demagi's open source mobile data collection platform, ComCare. This application has been developed based on recommendations and guidelines from the CDC and is intended to be used to improve infectious disease response in the COVID-19 outbreak. I log into ComCare on my phone, tablet, or web browser and start by screening the suspected case. I enter a form that enables me to record details about the suspected case and view testing recommendations based on the individual's profile. Additionally, I can select links that direct me to relevant documentation, for example, CDC guidelines for COVID-19 response. Algorithms such as these can be configured to help the user make decisions about next steps and identify potential cases more quickly. I'll register a suspected case named Hannah. I can record details about her that can be saved and referenced across multiple forms, drastically reducing duplicative data entry workflows. Once I have recorded this data, I can access a list of all suspected cases. This screen is fully customizable, so you can show whatever data is most important for your users. For example, you can see health indicators like hospitalization status, a home icon for patients isolated at home, versus a hospital icon for hospitalized patients. You can quickly search your list for specific cases. When you select a case from the list, you're able to see a quick snapshot of their data, serving as a useful reference for team members who need to track specific indicators or patient information. I'll start by completing the intake process for the suspected case I registered, Hannah. When I enter the intake form, I see some fields automatically pre-populated based on responses I had provided in the previous survey, thereby allowing me to skip past the fields without entering the same information twice. These forms can include as many or as few questions as necessary and can be updated at any time to reflect the most current protocols. Now I'll log in as a member of the lab team. In this example, my access is restricted to reporting lab testing results though these permissions can be modified at any time. Once specimens for a suspected case have been tested, I can access a list of cases pending testing, select their name from the list, and then record details of their test results. Based on the recorded results, the case investigation team can be automatically notified to take action. I'll now log in as the case investigation team to check to see if any new cases have been reported. As a member of the case investigation team responsible for following up with lab-confirmed cases, I can access a list of suspected cases who have recently tested positive for the virus. When I select this list, I see Hannah's case updated with a positive lab result. I can review the lab results reported by the lab team in real time and take next steps to verify the case's status automatically alerting the contact tracing team that a new case has been confirmed. When I log in as a member of the contact tracing team, I'll be able to initiate the contact tracing process for all confirmed cases. Since Hannah is now a confirmed case, I'll be able to see that Hannah's case now appears in a list of lab confirmed cases. I'll search for her name to quickly find the case. I can see the details of her case recorded by other teams, including lab results. To start the contact tracing process, I'll record details about Hannah's activities before and after the onset of symptoms. I can record all activities at once or provide a more detailed log of events for each of the 14 days before or after symptom onset. Then I'll start listing the individuals that Hannah came into close contact with during that period. The contact questions will repeat for each number I enter. I'll register one household contact, Anna Smith, and provide some basic details about her to facilitate follow-up. I'll enter her phone number, which Comcare will use to send daily SMS messages to check in on her condition and symptoms. I can choose a general window of time in which to send the message or specify the exact time of the message delivery. If known, I can enter additional details about Anna to help me determine the next course of action.
As Anna, I can see messages sent to my phone number asking me to self-report my symptoms. I'll respond yes to the symptom cough and yes to the symptom fever, prompting the system to instantly ask me if I'd like to be contacted by a healthcare professional and letting me know that someone will reach out to me shortly. To follow up with Anna to collect more information, I can initiate a live messaging chat by clicking the chat button next to her name. This opens up a chat window, showing the entire conversation history with Anna and allowing me to send her a personalized message to request details of her condition and to see her responses in real time. I'll now log in as a member of a team responsible for monitoring the individuals or contacts who have been exposed to COVID-19. I can see a list of contacts that fall into priority categories, including those who, like Anna, have reported symptoms via SMS and are now suspected cases. To ensure that the relevant team is informed of this update, I can quickly change Anna's status from contact to suspected case. Once that's done, the team responsible for investigating reports of suspected cases will immediately be able to see Anna's case in their list of persons under investigation, ensuring that they can take action as soon as possible.